All right, guys, today we have something pretty crazy to show you. We have the early gameplay announcement trailer for the new MX versus ATV Legends. Yes, that is officially the new game, the game title, and like I said, some early pre-alpha gameplay. So keep in mind, pre-alpha, early, there isn't a release date or anything it's too far away yet but the trailer I'm gonna show you is about 45 seconds long and there is no sound it does have a song in it that I'm pretty sure YouTube wouldn't approve of us playing so usually I do turn the sound off the only part you're really missing and I know it is a big part is you can kind of hear the bike sounds especially if you watch it on PC with a headset you can hear the the bike sounds and they're for sure better you'd be lying to yourself if you said they weren't i'm not saying they're perfect or they're the best bike sounds i've ever heard in a game but they are better so if you want to hear it i'm sure the this gameplay trailer this early announcement gameplay trailer will be on their social media so go check it out there but we're gonna play it here in a second and i was gonna talk over it because there isn't any sound but i don't want to influence anything you might come up with to talk about in the comments so i want you to watch it and then you know we can have that discussion in the comments about criticisms concerns uh things you're happy with and you know what what you're hoping the game will be when it when it releases so i also did get the chance to ask a few questions i had more but it was just the first few questions that came to mind i didn't even know if they could be answered but they kind of got answered so I will have the responses to the questions I had in the video after the trailer, and we do do a a pretty big deep dive breakdown of the trailer because there was some stuff that, if you don't slow it down, you might not notice the first time around, so some of you will, but uh, some people, such as myself, I did notice it, but I think it was subconsciously. I didn't, you know, after slowing it down, I noticed it more. So the trailer's gonna play here in a second. We'll come back and discuss it and see what your thoughts are on it after the trailer finishes. All right, so there you have the trailer. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. I'd be curious to see. Plus, I'm hoping that if you have concerns, if they're constructive and not just, I don't like it, it, it sucks, you know, maybe MX versus ATV can see this and it can help them with them continuing their development since this is a pre-alpha video clip. You know what I mean? So here we play the trailer back kind of slow. We switch over. It had a pan out view of a, a free roam open world that they were in and then cuts to some what appears to be waypoint racing slot cam first person crazy world. Maybe it's the same free roam area that we saw in the beginning. Not really sure. And then we see this path that kind of has a big jump over the ocean which is sick and then it appeared to be the drone cam so the drone cam must be making a return to to the future game switch over to some uh, motocross here and the biggest thing here in this little scene is that it appears to have maybe time of day either the evening or morning here and then we'd have midday dusk you know hopefully we see time of day it'd be cool if we could choose a time of day instead of it just be random but here we do pause the video for a bit. I pause it in a few different places because there is a few things I want to talk about. The first here is that the rider, he does feel a bit stiff, right? The proportion from his upper body to lower body, it feels like his upper body's maybe a bit too big. It could be the angle, so I'm not really sure. And then we pause it again because he's turning the handlebars, but just his arms, right? So 
I I really wish we could see a bit more body language with the you know turning the handlebars in the air like maybe he leans off to the side of the bike a bit you know whatever so that is that is a concern I hope they can address that a bit and then obviously look at the track the track is so rough there's so many ruts and and choppy sections on the track here it's awesome it does appear that it might be pre-made into the game because all the riders the players are together here and generally that would suggest that the race just started so probably pre-made what would be cool is if this was from the first moto and this was the result of that moto that would actually be pretty sick right so uh yeah i wanted to show that off because the tracks look great the environments are insane the lighting reflections really good but here we switch over to a whip and it concerned me a bit because it does appear to be stiff right so let me pull out my phone okay so here's some of the answers that i got to the questions i asked okay so the physics development has been moving very quickly so there will have already been changes made since this clip was captured but they are getting close that's word for word what I got back when asking about the physics now versus, you know, this trailer. And then I asked what the game felt like. Oh, here, the reason I kind of uh, slowed it down there is because the head tilts up. It did that in All Out, but the rest of the body doesn't really move. And then it does it here in this part too. It's not really a whip, just kind of the free physics, but the head tilts to the left or down, but the rest of the body isn't really moving. I really hope they can adjust on that for the final final game, right? But I asked what the game feels like, and they said it does feel similar to All Out, but you feel in complete control of the bike still. But there is a greater sense of inertia and weight that can definitely that you can definitely feel. Okay, so I was asking what it felt like and if it felt heavier because the game appears to be slower and heavier, and that was kind of the answer I got. And they also did say regarding that same question, it does feel a little heavier in the air, which does limit what rotations are possible, but it still feels more like all out than, for example, Supercross the game. And then the last thing they mentioned was because I was questioning whether or not it was it was whoever was playing or the game was like that. They said some of what you see is probably more the player than the game. Okay, that's what they said. Like, word for word, I was just reading it. Excuse me. I was just reading it off my phone. That's a few questions I asked. So now it's you guys, right? It's coming out for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, and PC. So now it's your guys' turn. What do you think? Concerns? What are you happy with? I feel like the environments are great. I feel like the physics definitely feel a bit heavier. But I haven't played it, so I don't really know. You know what I mean? Um... The sounds are better. If you want to hear them, go check out their social media. Probably probably have the clip with the sound there. And I encourage you to listen to it so you can tell me what you guys think. And just what are you hoping for? What do you want to see changed? What do you want to see implemented? It's pre-alpha, so hopefully they can see this. And then, and then actually take community feedback and criticism and implement it into the game. It's pre-alpha, so hopefully we can see that eventually. And then at the, one, one more thing I want to say is obviously we are going to have ATVs and then it does show the UTV. So probably not going to have trophy trucks and monster trucks and, and planes and all that stuff, but um, more, more similar to All Out. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.